How you doing, family? First, I give thanks for the creative source of this universe, and I give thanks to my mother, Shirley Hardy, my energetic angel guide. Greetings, greetings to you all in love and kindness. Thank you for tuning in and for sharing the good news from this show with family and friends. You are tuned in to Heart to Heart Healthy Living with Karen Khadija Davis, folks, Dr. K. I am a pioneering Nest Health Bioenergetic Practitioner and a conscious self-health care educator. I am not a medical doctor of disease care, but a pioneer educator in the field of quantum health and healing, conscious self-health care. Right here on the airwave of Inner Light Radio, the healing frequency. You are listening to a live broadcast today. Thank you so much for joining us and inviting someone to come and share the information that we had to share with you today. I'm the founder of the Arc of Self-Healing and Self-Help, Health Education for Longevity and Peace. It's a health wellness maintenance organization for the prevention of disease. You see, we share information that illnesses are no longer seen as diseases. We now understand that we create, the individual creates cellular malfunctions that cannot be corrected by pharmaceuticals and unnecessary removal of organs or amputation of limbs. You see the current paradigm in healthcare, family, friends, and community, the disease care model is now seen as outdated and no longer a viable way to care for the well-being of your human body, your human frame, your temple, your divine temple that you move around in on planet Earth. You see, family, Oftentimes, it's in the seeming breakdowns that the greatest breakthroughs are born. Diseases are now recognized as what it truly is, scrambled information, distortions in the human body field, breakdown in physiology processes, and also and most definitely 100% a part of a belief system. Disease care is a system of belief created by the ways in which you choose to care for your human frame. You see, we know now and we understand in this 21st century of modernized health care that is not in the genes. They don't just turn themselves on and off. It's in how the genes are taught to express themselves by you, the individual, your conscious thinking, just for you. Your body functions according to the way you send those signals and messages to your cells to respond by the way you think, those thoughts that you put in your body. Body. So it's time for us to expand our current state of wellness on health care with the new information on well-being, giving us the opportunity to refine certain aspects of ourselves and our experiences and become healthier and happier as a result. You are tuned into Heart to Heart Healthy Living. I'm broadcasting live from downtown Anacostia in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. Are you ready to bury disease thinking? I say, are you ready to bury disease thinking? Are you ready to shift from a man-made mindset of human consciousness about health care and how you should care for your own being? Are you ready to choose your pathway to wellness? You see, we can quickly bring ourselves back into alignment with the most authentic, original part of ourselves and nurture ourselves back to our original state of being through our thoughts, our consciousness, diet, lifestyle, and having access to the correct information we're trying to share with you right now. Are you ready? Are you ready, the individual you? Don't worry about the person around you. Don't worry about the person next to you. Don't worry about your mate. Are you ready to get radical about your health care? You see, health is consciousness, and healing is a function of consciousness. On this show, we share inspiring conversations, music, 
poetry, enlightening articles. And that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be sharing with you two powerful articles for you to understand a little bit more about this Western medicine system and see if you want to get radical about your health care. We do interviews. Next week, we're going to have a great guest coming on, sharing some powerful information with us. And 100% family and community, we hold the space for you to share your transformation of self-healing, your story. This is hard to heart, healthy living. And we honor the individual to take back control of their health care. We honor you every April 30th at the Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day Awards Celebration. We honor a visionary in the community. We want the world to know how you have t- gotten radical and taken back control of your health care. You are no longer living in fear. You are no longer worried about catching a disease because you understand that you have the power to correct your cellular malfunctions and take care of your body. So you can email your questions or comments today for today's show as I begin to share with you to Radio at yahoo.com. Radio at yahoo.com. You can also Facebook Brother Jamal with questions or comments. And you can call in and share. I'm going to share a couple of articles with you, and then you can call in and talk about them or your experience about them. You can call in and share at 310-928-7733. 310-928-7733. Now, we do ask that you mute your phone. You are entering a live chat room, and I will invite you to join the conversation by your phone number or your Skype name. So once again... Family and community, take that deep, deep breath with me. Hmm. Take that kundalini breath and let it circulate all through your body because we know we need to activate and keep our lymphatic system in a state of well-being to purify the body. So we're going to be focusing on our solar plex chakra, today's conversation. As you get centered, take your mental or physical notes. You want to take that deep breath and you want to say to yourself, I feel what I feel. Yeah, I do. I feel what I feel. And I acknowledge what I feel. And I trust what I feel. It's not tied to emotions. It's tied to the conscious, energetic being that I am. That's what it's tied to. And I feel what I feel. And I honor what I feel. So take that deep, deep breath. Hi, and welcome to the wellness checkpoint, the wellness choice point for some. Now it's time to check the parts of your thoughts, your consciousness, and your actions. Once again, you are tuned into Heart to Heart Healthy Living. Sit back and take that deep, deep breath. You see, I have one goal, one purpose, one thought, one action, one vision, one movement, one passion, to share information to empower all to rise above the fear of diseases. It's time to embrace fear of diseases. It's time to give diseases a big old, big old, big old hug. Hold the disease so tightly that it vanishes from your heart and mind. We are assisting each other with information so that we can make conscious self-health care moves when making a choice. Mental observation view is essential for your success. So take out your pen and paper. Write your personal prescription for better health care right now. I am Karen Khadija Davis, folks, the one and only conscious self-health care educator, and you are tuned into Heart to Heart Healthy Living on Inner Light Radio. We're going to take a um, commercial break and I'm going to come back and share the first article with you. Are you at your wit's end because there seems to be no solution to your health care problem? Is it okay for me to say to you that you can have peace of mind, take back control of your health? Are you experiencing anxiety, arthritis, diabetes, cancer, fibromyalgia, high blood pressure, lupus, chronic fatigue syndrome, any fictitious disease? Whatever your symptoms or diagnosis are, there is a conscious solution to transform the cause of your pain, 
not treat symptoms or mask it. No prescription medication, no over-the-counter drugs, no organs removed are required. Take back control of your health by the renewing of your mind. You can create wellness today. Contact Dr. K, 202-248-7749. Visit us on the web, www, the number four, the word sale, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. You know how you say you care about somebody, but maybe that person is not worthy. Maybe that person is just an expression of how deep we can care, how deep we can love. Let's go. I met him, the sweetest thing I ever knew. I fell for him, most stupid thing I ever do. Our energy was electric between the two of us. But no matter what, it still wasn't enough. As human beings, we tend to love harder. So for protection, we put up our own guards and hope to avoid the path of broken hearted. But gotta let the wall down to feel love regardless. Silly of me to ever really think that I could let my wall down without even asking why. It's all illusion, I was living in confusion. My soul just wanted his love in my life. The heart, the damn heart. It'll set you up to lose before you start. It'll set you up to bruise before you fall. But if it wasn't for the heart, I couldn't love at all. When you look up in the sky and fall, you will see I was always loved. And when you go inside your soul, you will see I was there to hold. But now I'm gone, and you can see. But now I'm gone, and you can see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is I Am Love. But you see, family, community, and friends, you are most definitely love. And it starts with self love. So we're talking about a return to self love, self care, self love. That's by Tony Hickman. Tony Hickman is a part of the Young Stroke Survivors Network. She was recently here in Washington, D.C., sharing at the annual event her latest album. You can go to tonyhickman.com and listen to that album and understand Tony's message to the community about health and healing and how she survived two aneurysms and a stroke. And it's out in the community sharing a mighty, mighty message about putting those perms and things in your hair. So that song was by Tony Hickman. I am love. And family community, you are love. And that is what self-care is all about. Conscious self-health care is all about loving yourself. So we put out that we was going to be sharing an article today, which I love articles because it gives us so much information on what is happening in the world. And I get to share with you if you didn't have the opportunity to be told about certain things happening in the medical field today. So this article I'm sharing with you is from naturalnews.com. You can go there right now. The article was published August the 16th, 2015. And it's an article on Cassandra Colander. Colander, C-A-L-L-E-N-D-E-R. And I'm going to share with you how she was kidnapped. So I'm not going to put my little two cent in. I'm going to share the whole article with you. And remember, you can call in and share with me what you think about this article. 310-928-7733. 310-928-7733. Again, you can go to naturalnews.com so you can follow me and type in Cassandra. Uh, Colander, C-A-L-L-E-N-D-R, and you will have the whole article, and then you can pass it forward and share with someone else. So here we go, family, community, and friends. You are tuned into Heart to Heart Healthy Living, and I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, broadcasting live from downtown Anacostia in Washington, D.C. Cassandra Calendar gives first interview after being kidnapped by Connecticut. 
the state of Connecticut and forced to undergo chemotherapy. And this article was put in by Jonathan, Jonathan Benson. He's a staff writer at Natural News. So his is what he's sharing with us about this conversation that he had with Cassandra Callender. A clear case of medical assault and battery against an underage girl. The harrowing experience of Cassandra Callender is finally getting told in her own words. For the first time since being released from the medical prison known as Connecticut Children's Medical Center, Cassandra has appeared on cameras to tell all about how state officials abducted her and forced her without consent to undergo toxic chemo treatments for dialysis of Hodgkin's lymphoma. Long before her full last name was released publicly, Cassandra's story was mostly being told by the mainstream media, which skewed the facts in the state's favor to gloss over the illegal abduction of this minor against her and her mother's will. For the simple act of trying to seek a second opinion for a questionable diagnosis, Cassandra was punished by the state and forced against her will to be injected with chemical poisons that could have killed her. In an exclusive interview with The Truth About Cancer, Cassandra divulges her experiences by taking away by experiences being taken away by the Connecticut Department of Children and Families, DCF, which along with twelve officer police escort kidnapped her from her home, strapped her down, sedated her, and forced her to take chemotherapy. If Cassandra had had the choice, she would have opted for an alternative treatment. There's also a video a video of Cassandra having this conversation with Jonathan right within this article. So when you go and check it out for yourself so you can share the truth as known and for yourself with your community about once you put yourself in that system, that Western medical system, and they diagnose you with cancer, nine times out of ten, you came back out of it. They may do something like this to you. So the article goes on to say medical persecution is alive and well in Connecticut. What is this brave young woman had to go through? It's every parent's nightmare. Abduction by the state. Forced medical treatment with toxic side effects. Threats of jail time. Separation from one's child. It's the type of torture one expect to hear about taking place against a terrorist at Guantanamo Bay, not underage American citizens with potentially life-threatening illnesses. What the state of Connecticut did to Cassandra is nothing short of criminal and every bit as much evil. You simply have to hear her tell the story in her own words to truly grasp how far medical totality turnism and encroached in violation of personal medical choice and parental rights, both of which were trampled upon in Cassandra's case. Her mother was helpless to do anything for her child. They took her rights away to make choices or because she was diagnosed with cancer. To be clear, Cassandra's, Cassandra's initial diagnosis of Hopkins lymphoma wasn't even definite. Doctors did not know what she had, but decided that she would have no choice but to undergo chemotherapy. And the rest, as they say, is history. So this is not a story that was that happened uh, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 4 years ago, uh, 1 year ago. This story is happening right now. This young lady and her family is still facing the tyranny of the system of Connecticut. She's already gone one complete round of chemo and basically society, su- su- survived it because she's not dead. But we know what that poison has done to her body that she has now got to recover from. But she's still in the process of still fighting them because... First of all, they took her mother's rights away as a parent to make a choice for her child. The child can't make a choice for herself because she's under 18 years old. And so she would turn 18 on uh, September the 30th of this year, 2015. So they still need a little help. 
so she would not have to go through another round of chemo because they feel as though they did not remove the cancer. It's still there after that round of chemo. They might force her to go another round if her test results doesn't show anything different. And that can happen before she turns 18 years old, September the 30th. So if you are interested in uh, helping the conscious self-health care movement, helping people to understand how we need to move ourselves away from this disease care system that wants us to abuse our bodies with chemo, radiation, drugs, uh, cutting out organs, uh, cutting off limbs, for the daily care of your human body, this is your responsibility. That's why it's a good idea to walk away from disease care, emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery, and know that you create cellular malfunctions and you and have conditions that you can correct if you just change your belief systems and walk away from that. The new information of the 21st century on quantum health and healing is all about self-care, conscious care, putting you in control of your own health care, giving you the necessary information. So Cassandra and her mother knew something. And even though they had that diagnosis, they wanted to get a further diagnosis, and they were even stopped from doing that. You cannot argue with that system. It tells its truth. The best thing you can do is move yourself quietly away from it and take responsibility from your own health care. And again, you create cellular malfunctions. It's not a disease. The cells are malfunctioning because they're not getting the raw materials that they need, and that includes your conscious signal information to the cell for proper communication. That's the advancement in health care. So you want to help support Cassandra and her fight to opt out of chemotherapy and obtain medical freedom by contributing a financial donation. Cassandra needs our prayers and our support. She won't turn 18 until September the 30th, and she's due for a second round of screening before then after test reveals that the initial five-month chemo Therapy re- regimen to which she was forcibly subject didn't work. This means there's a chance she could be forced into a second round of chemotherapy against her will, which if it didn't work the first time, most definitely won't work the second time. Cassandra and her mother are currently evaluating how to proceed with the case. Based upon what Cassandra has already gone through, she seems to have a solid case against the state, which with the right attorney involved, could eventually see heads roll. In the meantime, her story needs to be spread far and wide, and the evil deeds of the DFC, Connecticut Children's Medical Center, and all the others involved exposed to the world to see. You can help financially support Cassandra and her journey towards true healing without chemotherapy. By visiting her GoFundMe page and her name, you will also have the opportunity to read more about her case as well as provide much-needed support as she faces the state, hopefully just one more time. This is outrageous. Outrageous, outrageous, outrageous. But this is what happens when you involve yourself in a disease care system. They take over because they say you don't know any better because you don't understand how your body works. It's too complicated. How the body works, family and community, is not complicated. It's as simply as taking a course in cellular ecology and learn how cells receive oxygen, minerals, nutrients, information, and what blocks them from receiving those things and how we purify our bodies. What's complicated is understanding disease care language and what they're doing with that. That's what's complicated and take them years of studying. You can learn how to properly care for your body. And you can pull yourself away from this disease care system because even just going to get a checkup can put you in that state that Cassandra was in and you may not be able to get out of it, even as an adult, because they might say you don't know how to properly take care of yourself. So let's trust what they say. Let's begin to trust what they say because if we stop worrying about disease care, if we stop worrying about preventing ourselves from catching a disease or inheriting a disease, we probably can live a lot much healthier life right here on planet Earth without being concerned and bringing up all those negative emotions. Because remember, it's a belief system. And you can shift that belief system by simply changing your focus. Again, you are tuned to Heart to Heart Healthy Living. 
I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks. I'm the one and only conscious self-care educator, and I am here to empower you to take better care of yourself. It's not about me getting clients. It's not about me. It's more about me sharing the basic information for you to be able to create your own wellness plan. It's all about relearning, rethinking, and rewriting your very own prescription plan with new information. It's time for you to set back. Take that Kundalini breath. Increase the power of the lymphatic system to purify the body. We're going to take a station break. And remember, you can call in. And if you got a comment about that article, something you want to share, 310-928-7733. If not, I'll continue with the next article when we come back from this commercial break. Is it time for a new approach to your health care? Are you ready to lead the dark ages of disease care management and pharmaceuticals? If your answer is yes, get ready to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your personal health care prescription plan with Dr. K. She is a certified lithologist and Nest health care provider, sharing the new signs of information as medicine and cellular ecology. Did you know that the field of epigenetics states that you are more than just your genes and those genes do not control your biology? Yes, that's correct. Schedule a Skype, phone, or office visit with Dr. K and get on board the Friendship Train to Healthcare Freedom. 202-248-7749. That's 202-248-7749. Visit us on the web. For selllife.com. The number four, the words sell, C E L L L I F E dot com. That deep, 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 deep breath. All right, all right. That Kundalini breath. You take that deep, deep breath, family, community, and friends. You in the process of relearning, rethinking, and rewriting your very own prescription health care plan. When you go to a practitioner, when you go to a health care provider, when you go to a healer, when you go to Western Medicine, wherever you go, you should be going there because you know what is wrong with you. And you're going to that particular person because they have what you want. They have what you need. They have that extra something that can help you boost yourself to reset, recharge, regenerate, rejuvenate your cells, to correct your cellular malfunction. We as a community, as people in this 21st century, should not be going to someone asking them what is wrong with us. 
us? And can you help me fix myself? We need to understand basic cellular ecology. If you haven't been taught that information, find a lithologist certified by the International Academy of Lithology and let them assist you with waking yourself up to this wellness information so that you can better take care of yourself. You want to shift your energy? You want to change your paradigm. You want to shift your thinking. Maybe even in terms of definition of how you view disease, healthcare, healing. What that has been about for you. It's time you sit down and write it out clearly. Make a plan and see what you have been doing with yourself. Because I say do as I do. As a conscious self-health care educator and a conscious self-health care person taking care of myself, I am this way 100% because I trust what they say. I trust what the Western medical system has been telling us for the past 200 years. I trust everything that they say. I believe everything that they say because I see it being played out in almost every individual that has claimed a disease, that have had a surgery, a removal of an organ, that it has limbs removed because they didn't understand how to care for the body, how to keep it out of a toxic, flooded, inflammation state where the cells could not do their job. So I trust what they say, and I trust what they say so much that I have emancipated myself from medical mental slavery. I would not go to them and ask them anything about how to care for my human frame because I know the answer. The answer only lies in pharmaceuticals and we know 100%. What do we know about pharmaceuticals? We know everything they tell us about pharmaceuticals is true. That taking one pharmaceutical will bring about 40 different side effects from that one pharmaceutical. So if you got one and you're taking two and you're taking three and you're taking four, look at the side effects that you are creating. Look at what you're saying to your cells, how you, what information, what signals that are you are sending to your cells to assist you. It's time to get real family community. We need to fully understand the first thing to getting well is to do what? Understand that the cells don't know a daggone thing about calories. A cell wants nutrition. It wants vitamins. It wants the energy from the nutrition to generate electricity. A calorie doesn't generate anything. So it's not about counting calories. It's about asking yourself, are the foods that I put into my body, are they nourishing my cells to do the job that they are supposed to do? Because if they are not, they are causing cellular malfunctions. So the first step to getting health, to getting wellness, is to do what? It's to change the way you eat. That's what we need to do first. And that's free. Everybody's been telling you that for years. So trust what they say. You want to get healthy first and find out what you're lacking, what you're missing, what other information you may need to assist your body with getting well. The first thing to do is free. You don't need to go to anybody to tell you how to create a plan to eat correctly. That information is free. It's everywhere you turn. They are even now teaching your children the truth about food in school and the parents don't even want to believe what the kids are coming home saying because they stuck in a paradigm of health care, an old paradigm of health care, thinking and how to nourish and care for the body. So 100% trust what they say and know that one thing they say is most definitely not true. You do have a choice. You do have a choice. You have the right. You have the legal right as a human being taking care of your own body to choose your own pathway to wellness. Now, 100%, if you decide that the Western medicine and pharmaceuticals are the way for you and it's pleasing to you, then by all means, keep doing what you're doing for yourself. Don't complain when you get down the road and it's not turning out like the way you want because you got to trust what they say. Trust what they say. That's what I do. And so that's one reason why I'm a conscious self-health care educator, because I trust what they say. Every time they told me something, I trust what they said, and I did the opposite of what they said. I took myself away from pharmaceuticals. I took my way from going to get your yearly checkups. Because you can go for a yearly checkup, and every year they'll tell you that everything is all right with you, and then one year they'll tell you that uh, things are not as normal that now you are on the borderline. You cannot get away from a disease when you go to that system. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how, how long you've been a vegan or vegetarian. You go to that system for checkups, you read a certain age, it's predictable. It's predictable. They already know what you're going to have, when you're going to have, and how many people are going to have it if you stay in that system. 
allow yourself to be evaluated by that system. There's no way around it because that's what that system is all about. Disease care is not about wellness and it's not about health care. It's about disease care and saying this is the only way that you have to go. You know, family, community, and friends, Again, if you like to, I know it's challenging, but you don't have to make it challenging. You can call in and share uh, how you live in your life, what you're doing, if you want to shift your energy, if you are satisfied where you are, uh, 310-928-7733. That's 310-928-7733. It's all about empowering you to take back control of your health care so that we can raise a generation of youth that um, is getting what they need, uh, the proper nutrition to nourish their cells so that they can develop, grow, and evolve into uh, conscious citizens, uh, knowing how to better care for themselves. Because there's no way to fight a system. That system is going to stay in place because you have the right and you have the opportunity and you should have the, the willpower to honor yourself and just walk away from the system. You don't even have to use it. I don't use it. I don't go to them, ask them for one thing, and it's well known that I do not do that. I do not practice disease care, and that's why I love what I do in my practice. You come to me, I'm holding the space that you are already well, and I'm assisting you with reaching that understanding and knowing that you have created a cellular malfunction. So let's look at the body as a whole. Let's not just focus on the name of the disease that somebody gave you and keep your body separate and keep it as a separate part. Cells function together. They function better as a whole. Every cell functions as an individual cell, but it works better as a whole. And when you treat your body as a whole, your body will get well and proper care. And so that's the message that we share here on Heart to Heart Healthy Living. We share information to help you figure out how to emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery. I share information on the science of lithology, teaching cellular ecology as a nest pioneering practitioner. We share the new science of information, of informational medicine, quantum physics, quantum anatomy to help you better understand the information side of how cells communicate and how we just don't want to create the energy through the foods, the nutrition, the raw materials that we give the body, but that um, energy must know what to do and how to function, and that's information. So I support you with informational medicine to assist you with how to raise your vibration. I have a program that I work with that reads pharmaceuticals and tell you exactly what they're doing to your body so you can better understand and help yourself stop taking the pharmaceuticals. Go to your doctor with strength and understanding and tell them that you want off the pharmaceuticals to assist you with releasing them, not asking them, but telling them. You're the one that took the permission from them to start doing the pharmaceuticals. Then you go tell them that you no longer want to do it. You understand better, and you want to take better care of yourself. There are many, many conscious of healthcare educators out there under many different titles to assist you with reaching this level of understanding and awareness. And it doesn't matter where you are in your health paradigm. It doesn't matter if they said it was fourth stage, third stage, second stage, if you have the consciousness, you have the desire, you feel it within your heart, you give your cells the right signals, start giving your body the right information to purify itself, you can make changes that will last for a long time. It doesn't matter what age you are. You just have to be willing to go through the purifying process when the body starts healing itself to let go of those toxins. Is that okay with you, family, community, and friends? Take a deep breath. Ah, Kundalini breath. We're focusing on our solar plex chakra today. Feel what I feel. You're feeling something now because you got some information that's making you think about what you've been going through or what your loved one's been going through, what you've been putting them through. So you want to acknowledge what you feel, and you want to make the necessary changes. And guess what? What's so wonderful about this is you don't need nobody's permission to do it. You do it for yourself. If you got control of your health care, you do it for yourself. And if you are now in control of someone's health care and you want to help them shift their energy, you got some new information. 
You can go out here and you can use the World Wide Web to assist you with making conscious self-health care moves. There are a lot of people doing that right now, today. So I got the message, yes, I was supposed to share an article with you, Eyes Wide Shut, Understanding the Modern Health Care Pandemic. It's all about a gentleman who was taking antibiotics after antibiotics for years and years and years until he went to Hong Kong and found out that it was the antibiotics that he was taking for years for years that took away his energy and took away his immune system. And so I'm going to share that article with you after next week. But I just wanted to remind everyone, simply just Get yourself out of the rat race of how everybody else is thinking and taking care of their selves. If you've been feeling something different, if you know you want to vibrate to something different, do it for yourself. Don't let nobody turn you around. Don't let nobody change how you feel and what you want to do for yourself. You tired of taking those medications? Are you tired of feeling sorry for yourself? Are you tired of being sick and waiting for a cure for a disease? Then get up and do something different for yourself. Take your power back. So, yeah, I'll give you a new definition for diseases, and it may help you shift your energy. So think in terms now that a disease is not something that you're doomed to have and create. Disease is not something that was meant to be. Disease is something that was developed and created by a medical system so they can make money. So when you are a conscious creator, when you're consciously thinking about your life and you want to shift that energy, disease is an inharmonious condition in mind and body brought about by error thinking. It's the way that you're thinking. You keep trying to cure a disease or you keep it there in your lifetime. Ignorance causes all disease. That simple, simple quote, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Here's some new knowledge to help you let go of the term diseases where there is no cure. Organic disease has its origin in mind as truly as any other manifestation. Everything that we see in our life is what we have created from our own thinking. So let go of disease care. Replace that disease name with cell your malfunctions. The cells are malfunction based on a simpler formula by Dr. Samuel C. West. Oxygen. Lack of oxygen. We can take these deep, deep breaths. But if our cellular environment is not purified enough for our cells to receive the good oxygen, to relieve the old oxygen, then the pumps, which our cells cannot begin to turn on to create the electricity in the body. And yes, you are an electrical being. You are an electrical vibrating being and you create power. The power allows you to see, to walk, to talk, to function, to process foods, to, to, to cleanse the body. So you want to have that formula in mind. You want to remember oxygen. Yes, it's the number one thing. You got a deep breathing, but the cellular environment is so full that it cannot receive the good oxygen. Then your cells begin to what? Malfunction. And wherever those cells malfunction, they will call it a disease. They will say that you got a disease of the liver. Why? Because the majority of the cells are malfunctioning. It's flooded. It can't receive what you need. But you can create a different environment for those cells to shift and change and begin to work. That's what they call miracles. It's no miracle. It's because you're taking over. You're taking the power back. And so, yes, I'm a conscious self-health care educator. And the only person that I have ever supported with disease care thinking was my mother, Shirley Hardy. She's the only person that I helped to manage that way. I would not work with anybody else that way because I know that diseases are not real, that they are cellular malfunctions. And so today, it's the day that my mother left planet Earth, 2014. The day that they said that she was no longer here, but I know that she made her transition on August the 15th. We're going to take a commercial break. I'm going to come back and share some stories with you in terms of how I do things and um, close out the show for tonight. So let's take another station break and listen to some music and meditate on how we're going to shift our energy. Thank you, Brother Jamal.
Do you feel lost? Do you feel out of sync? Could it be that you are experiencing electromagnetic sensitivity? Yes, electromagnetic sensitivity. Could man-made frequencies interfere with cellular activity and melatonin production? We are beings of frequency, light, and information, and you are your own experience. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of man-made mindset of human consciousness. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Schedule your Nest ProVision Human Body Field Scan with Dr. K. 202-248-7749. Visit the website forsalelife.com. The number four, C-E-L-L-L-I-F-E dot com. Have the courage to expand your horizon and reprogram your cellular activities. Call Dr. K for your 15-minute wellness consultation, Yes, that kind of music is healing to the soul, refreshing for the body, and it speaks volume to yourself. Sound healing, all the healing arts. Do you know how many healing arts that they are available for you to shift and change your cellular activity? You know how many healing arts out there? If you're not aware of all the healing arts, all the energetic modalities, all the new quantum health and healing modalities that are available to assist you with maintaining a body of wellness, wake up, family and community. Let's get out of the disease care thinking and business, and we probably can live a much more happier and more unified life when you're feeling good and you're not worried that somebody's taking something away from you or doing something to you. Remember, disease is a belief system that can be changed by you, for you, only you. Don't let nobody continue to create for you and let you stay in a, a system that really have you being a victim to your own self-creation because you don't want that. You are born perfect and well. The body will shift itself back into its natural state, and it doesn't have to do that from a disease. The life process, the birth process, the healing process is the same process. And when you're ready to go, you'll be ready to go. And you won't go ahead of time because you put your body in a disease state of dying because of the condition that it is and what it creates. So we're talking about creating a healthy mindset. So a healthy mindset in doing so, let's look at health as being a state of being, sound, hold, in mind and body. Oneness with the higher self, oneness with your higher self of mind assures you perfect health. You got to know that you are healthy. That is not a disease. Health is the normal condition of man, a condition true to the truth of his being. Health is from within and does not have to be manufactured in the without. It is the very essence of being universal and enduring. That which seems to be sickness does not exist in truth. When man becomes so much at one with his own understanding of his own creation and abides in this consciousness of health, he will live a healthier and more healthier life right here on planet Earth. And that's all I wanted for my mother. I wanted my mother to live the best life. My mother had a daughter, left this last child of hers, it was a conscious self health care educator that would not buy into disease care. And when my mother brought me her concerns, I would always tell her to challenge herself to shift her energy and to change their minds. I was not 
not a part of that system. I could not function in that system, and I could not deal with that system. So I only encourage her to do the best, and that's how I work with her. I work with her for my truth. I work with her doctors in that system for my truth. They may not have liked the way I did things, but that's the way I did it. Family and her friends may not like the way I was, but that's who I am, a conscious self-educator, and I would not give in to disease care no matter who it was. And so when my mother made a transition last year, it seemed like all the attention was on me and what I was doing because it didn't look like to them that I was doing the best thing for my mother. And so I felt like my mother's life was not honored because it was all centered around me and that her child would not let the medical system uh, take care of my mother. Well, I tell you, they took care of my mother for almost 50 years. And the way she was leaving out didn't look like they did much care to her. They wouldn't even let her leave out on her own when she could not eat anymore. They wanted me to make a decision to keep her here with a body that was in a state of degenerative disease that even she felt that she could not come back from and that's why she no longer was able to eat. But she lived and lived her life all the way up until that last moment. And so it was some controversy around the way she left. So I filed my paperwork with the Department of Health in Washington, D.C. on the medical doctors and on the establishment that she was in and I'll see what they come up with. Because I think I had the right, just like Cassandra does, to, to make choices when someone tells you that you have power of attorney and you decide what's best for them. And I decided that the medical system had helped my mother long enough, that it was time for them to let her go. And so I honor my mother this month. I put out different notes on each and every day. So as I close out this show today, I tell you, stand in your own truth. Know who you are. If you don't want to take pharmaceuticals and someone in your family, some loved one is forcing you to do it, stand true to yourself and tell them no. And take care of yourself and honor the fact that you no longer believe in disease care. So as I leave out the show today, I want you to know I want to thank you for tuning in to Heart to Heart Healthy Living with Karen Khadija Davis, folks, broadcasting live from Washington. D.C. and downtown Anacostia. I'm live here on Inner Light Radio. Every Tuesday, we share poetry. We share enlightening articles. We have guests. My guest next week, oh man, Reverend, she's going to have a powerful conversation for you that's going to truly help you shift your energy. So once again, in closing, take back control of your health. Bury disease thinking. Emancipate yourself from medical mental slavery. And honor yourself. And I thank you so very much for tuning in to Heart to Heart Healthy Living. And come join us on our friendship train. This is all about health. Or even try to school ya Oh no Ooh We've got the mind of our own So go to hell if what you're thinking is not right Love will never leave us alone I end the darkness and must come out to light
shall survive. Stay alive. Oh, could you be loved? And be loved. Could you be loved? Oh, now. And be Yes, yes, yes. You could you be could you be loved? We're talking about loving yourself. We're talking about taking responsibility for your own health care. So a return to love. Just take care of yourself, honor yourself, and do what's best for yourself. Get radical about your health care. We're talking about relearning, rethinking, and rewriting. Thank you for tuning in to Heart to Heart Healthy Living. Tune in next Tuesday. We'll have a fantastic guest for you. And I will share some more information on how I got caught up in the medical system by making medical choices that was not the choice of the medical system when caring for my mother, Shirley Hardy. I'm going to honor her life and her legacy by telling her story with the Shirley R. Hardy Senior Weology Program. I tell you, family community, these Saturdays, lymphocytizing at the Anacostia Museum grounds, Fort Stanton, every Saturday from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. I'm out there sharing with you cellular ecology so you can take back the power of your health. This is in honor of my mother, Shirley R. Hardy, who left a wealth of information. So I want you to understand how to pull yourself out of that system so you won't face the challenges that I face with the medical system and taking care of my mother at the final stages of her life. This information is going to be known to the community to assist you so you will not have to worry about elder care and your rights. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week on Heart to Heart Healthy Living with Dr. Karen Khadijah Davis, folks, broadcasting live from downtown Anacostia in Washington, D.C., right here on the Airwave Internet Light Radio. See you next Tuesday, Heart to Heart.